It's going like. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't done that in a while. <laughs> the choice begins now. No matter the weapon, no matter the season, the choice is simple. Just hunt. Featuring North America's favorite hunting couple, Ralph and Vicky, and the posse. Welcome to this week's The Choice. Welcome, and now this is part two. Yes, two. Of down in Eagle Lake Outfitters, down Pike County during gun season, and this week we also have youth season. Which is awesome. You know, more and more states are starting to do this, and it's it's a season to get the kids out hunting. That's I mean, right, to grow our numbers, which is awesome. And Ted and Tina do a great job. Yep, every year. Having their youth hunt down there. But before we get to that, it's Cabela's for the Lucky oh Logo. Oh my gosh, and they you have got to see list. what they're giving. If you go to our website, you can see some of the stuff that they're giving away for Lucky Logo, but we'll tell you more about that at the end of the show. Thanks, Let's guys. get into Megan's hunt. She's down there at in Tentina's. In a box blind, Eagle it's Lakes. the afternoon hunt. That's Deer right. are all over. They're in the food plots yep. and well. Let's see if she can do it. Time will tell. How are we going to get to our box blind whenever there's so many deer? All right, we finally made it into the blind. It took us a while to, to get in here because we didn't want to spook them. Anyway, we'll see what happens. I'm hoping a big buck comes out. There were a couple nice bucks in there. Oh, he's nice. Oh, look at him. This is my first muzzleloader gun hunt. How exciting is that? Here's my buck. I'm really proud of him. He's just got a lot of character and just unique. So I'm very, very blessed that I had an opportunity to hunt here. Well, Lon and I are going to drag this bad boy out. Ted's going to come and get us, and uh, we're going to celebrate. Thank you, Eagle Lake Outfitters, Ted and Tina. You guys are the best. Hey, congratulations, Megan. That was an awesome Yeah, buck. that's cool, buddy. Absolutely. Now we're going to join, thank you, we're going to join the Smoot Sisters the on Smoot the youth sisters. hunt. Smoot Sisters. Hmm. Oh, down in Pike County, I guess it down would be, Down in right? Pike. We're in northern Illinois. They're in central Illinois. North, south, I mean. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Smoot sisters. Welcome, Welcome back to back. Choice. Now, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, thorns, 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 thorns. <laughs> now let's go and join Kestrel and Caitlin down in Pike County on the youth season hunt. The youth. See how they can do. Let me find some the, more thorns for you. The youth season. Youth. What is a youth? Hmm. We're here at Eagle Lakes Outfitters, and it's the afternoon, as you can see. And this morning I saw a little doe, and then we saw a little buck. That was like 75 yards away. So we're going to try again this afternoon. 
Shoot him. Did I do it? You got him. Yes. You got him, sweetie. You got him. Hey, look at Lonnie. Look at Lonnie. Tell us what happened, sweetie. <laughs> Did you just get your first deer? I think I finally got over from being afraid of guns. <laughs> that didn't even smack me. <laughs> <laughs> When I got out here, when I saw it, it wouldn't hurt. Yes! <laughs> oh, I can barely stand. I can barely stand. Say, okay, so I got two animals so far. One hog with a crossbow in Florida, and one deer here with a gun. And I think I'm over shooting guns. And how I always watch the hunting videos, I can kind of see where you're supposed to be, and I just went up. Okay. Sister's got a doe in the field in front of her, so she might get a shot. <gasps> hey, Caitlin, congratulations. How cool is that? And was Daddy, awesome. Daddy Gary with her. Oh, how yeah. Cool I mean, is she was that? pumped. Congrats. And now you don't want to go anywhere because Sister Kestrel yes. has got a doe in her sights, and we got to see how she does. Two so sisters don't go anywhere. hunting, Pike County. Youth, Youth season. Ute season. Youth. Ute. Youth. There's a bunch of Utes. Don't go anywhere. Uh -uh. Utes. Ute. Welcome back. Yeah, now it's... we're gonna go back to Kestrel. Yep. She's been eyeing up this doe for a while and she's the decided- Smoothie Sisters. She's decided she wants to take that doe for her first deer ever. Right. And what's really cool, again, youth season, the That's girls right. with their dad, that's right. Lonnie Megan are filming them in two separate areas. Yeah, so, I mean, how I mean, cool is this? Wait till you see the result of this hunt. So, this okay, is... let's just roll the footage, shall we? Okay. Okay, just roll the footage. Come on, let's go. Yeah, jump over this rusted stuff. <laughs> For sure. Because my harp's like thumping. Oh my God. 
let's recover your deer. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, girls drool, boys drool. Uh huh. Okay, so I just dropped down my dough. Let's go find her. It's a good first deer. This is your first deer? Yeah. And I got to hunt with? Yeah. What a, that's awesome. I know. What a blessing. Oh, I can't reach you. <laughs> yep, so thanks again, Ted and Tina, for letting me hunt here. It's been an awesome time. First year ever. Congratulations, thanks to you. I'm going to keep this memory forever. Yeah, and if I don't know if you guys saw or heard me, but I had to like breathe really slowly through my nose and mouth because my heart was going like <laughs> Hello? Yeah. Sorry. Hello? Did you get you got a doe? Yep. Oh, I, I dropped I got her. Spike. Huh? Awesome. Yeah. Who are you talking to? I'm talking to my yeah. sister right now. I dropped my doe. It was I stopped right there. I know I hit my butt. I hit the um, spike right where it was supposed to be. Cool. And Mine? I and now I'm not afraid of guns. <laughs> she says she's not afraid of guns anymore. Great. <laughs> okay. So, yep. Congratulations. You? Thanks. Can you go down? How far away was he? Uh, 58 yards, yeah, I think. We checked him with the yard range finder, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Good job! Thanks. Is that your first deer with a gun? Yeah. Is it? Good job! Thank you! Did? Yay! That was your first one I want to see! <laughs> well, Vic, we talk about choices. I made a choice. For us to go hunting next year, I sold the house. I bought you this one. So now we could continue hunting. My, my choice is just to tell Kestrel and Caitlin congratulations. <laughs> how cool! I mean, well, how, how cool priceless. is that? The two of them after their hunt, the first day, their sisters, they, their first deer. They call each other on the phone. I mean, that <laughs> priceless. That was priceless. Now you don't want to go anywhere because when we come back, we're going to join Ryan and Z during muzzleloader season, and we're going to oh. see how they do. I just realized something. What? They're that young and they're on the phones. Yeah. That's what you girls do. Come back. Now what? Now I'm getting a headache from someone behind me. Ha! Huh. All right, now we're gonna go join Ryan down in Pike County and see if he can't tag a big old giant Pike County buck. Yeah. Are you making fun of me? No, close, real close encounters. You were making fun of me or you were closely making fun of me? No. opening day of muzzleloader season here in Pike County. We're up here with Eagle Lakes Outfitters and we are in a awesome spot this evening. What we've got is a big block of timber in front of us here. And what the deer have been doing is crossing over this levee to come out and feed in this cut bean field. We're just gonna sit tight tonight. We got the Thompson Center out and we're gonna see what happens. Hope for good luck. Well, that's our ride coming to get us. We had a real good hunt tonight. A uh, bunch of deer come out of the field, saw some real good bucks. Um, just came out, couldn't get the camera angle quite right. So we're going to make a few adjustments, get back in here tomorrow night, and uh, hope for the best. 
Gosh, Ryan, don't you hate it when the deer just don't do what you want them to do? <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, let's just join Z. He's the next day a couple hundred yards down from where Ryan was. Last night we had uh, about 100 yards to the right over here. We had uh, quite a few deer come on out. We should, uh, we should have some luck. <laughs> Hopefully. If the wind stays straight, we'll be fine. All right, we'll go ahead and get set up. Thank you very much. No we'll be here till dark. There's a good buck coming up over right there. It's about 111 yards. Easily 140. He's down. He's down. Well. <laughs> the only deer we saw were 300 yards down there. We're watching down there, and all of a sudden I see Rack popping over the hill here at about 110 yards. He came right up here. He came up here. I, I got about an 80 yard shot on him. I seen him, ta I seen his tail bucking, and I think just as he crossed the top, I seen him fall over. So, and, uh, just like you said, he said 100 yards, it was 110. 110 yards? Yeah. There he is. Oh. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. We're down here at Eagle Lakes Outfitters, and uh, Scott had watched these deer for the last few nights coming over the levee and feeding in the soybean field. And he set up a blind, and he brought us in here tonight. And this buck came up, and he was just standing there checking everything out, and he slowly fed down to us. He gave us an 80 yard shot, and I really appreciate Scott putting us in here tonight. Absolutely, glad it worked out for you. It was awesome. Thanks, buddy. Sure. What a show. Hey, Z, congratulations, yeah, buddy. you got a buck, <laughs> yay! How long has it been? And he's well deserving of it. He does, you know what I mean? He's always behind the camera filming you. Yeah, or somebody. Poor guy. Yeah, oh heck Poor yeah. Guy. We so wanna thank Ted and Tina down at Eagle Lakes Outfitters. Absolutely, they've been so generous and so so gracious down there, having all of us come down there and hunting and filming. I mean, what a great people. And if you happen to see the Cabela's logo, oh the Lucky logo, you need gosh. to log on to the choiceTV.com. Fill out the information and someone is gonna win a whole a pile, pile of, of Cabela's. Goodies. Oh of my gosh, goodies. wait till you see what it is. So as usual, this is the 13th show for the choice. We wanna thank you because without you, without our partner support and the big guy upstairs, none of this is possible. And so, well, for 2010, we have a major surprise coming your way. Don't tell them. Don't tell them? Don't tell them. You have to wait, find out what happens. That's it, that's all you gotta do. That's it, huh? That's right, so that's what makes for making your choice. The choice. And we'll see you. Next, next we'll time. Well, next we'll time. see you next week on Archer's Choice, but. Yes. But. But then, oh my gosh, wait till 2010. Dun, 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 dun. Why don't you go start reciting my new house? Yeah.